Our starting point for understanding probability is to see that the probability of an event P is the number of different ways an event can happen divided by the total number of possible outcomes. Let's see that in the context of a pack of playing cards. There are 52 cards in a pack, four suits of 13 cards each, two red suits, hearts and diamonds, two black suits, clubs and spades. Each suit has an ace, two through to ten, a jack, a queen and a king. So what are the chances of drawing a black card? Any club or spade might be drawn, so there are 26 possible ways this event can happen and 52 possible outcomes. So the probability of drawing a black card is 26 over 52. If we want, we can find an equivalent fraction by dividing the top line, the numerator, by the same amount as the bottom line, the denominator. Here we can divide both by 26 to give 1 over 2 or a half. We might want to express that as a decimal. And decimals can be thought of as parts of a hundred. So multiplying the numerator and the denominator by 50 gives 50 over a hundred which we can express as a decimal. By dividing the numerator by the denominator 50 divided by 100 is 0.5. What are the chances of drawing a club? Well, the probability of drawing a club from the 52 card pack is 13 over 52. Dividing the numerator and the denominator by 13 enables us to find the equivalent fraction 1 over 4 or a quarter. Multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 25 gives 25 over 100, expressing that as a decimal 0.25, the chance of drawing a club. Now what's the possibility of drawing either a king or a queen from the pack? Here we need to add fractions together. Probability of drawing a king or a queen is as follows. There are four possibilities of drawing a king out of the pack of 52. So that gives us four over 52. There are four possibilities of drawing a queen so that also gives us 4 over 52. So we need to add these two possibilities together. How do we do that? Well, if we've got the same denominator, we can simply add the numerators together. So in this case, 4 over 52 plus 4 over 52 gives us 8 over 52. We can find the equivalent fraction by dividing by 4. That gives us 2 over 13. And if we express that as a decimal, if we divide 2 by 13, using your calculator, you'll find that it's 0.154. So the possibility of drawing either a king or a queen is 0.154. Now what's the probability of getting a king on consecutive draws? Well, the first time we draw a card, there are four kings in the pack of 52. If the first time we draw a card, it is a king, what are the chances of drawing another one? Well, there are three kings left in the pack and there are only 51 cards remaining in the pack. So to find the answer to this, we need to multiply fractions together. The probability of both cards being a king is equal to 4 over 52 times the second draw. There are three kings left, 51 cards in the pack. So 4 over 52 times 3 over 51. Now this time, 
we don't have the same denominator. So we multiply the numerators, 4 times 3 equals 12, and we multiply the denominators, 51 times 52, which equals 2652. But we can find an equivalent fraction by dividing by 12, which gives us 12 divided by 12 is 1, 2652 divided by 12 is 221. 1 over 221 expressed as a decimal is 0 0.0045. Now what's the probability of getting a king or a club in one draw? Here the events are not mutually exclusive. Sometimes events are mutually exclusive, that is, if we draw one card it can't be another. If we draw a diamond, then it can't be a heart. But that's not true here. Maybe we'll draw the King of Clubs. So to find the answer to this problem we'll need to add and subtract fractions. The chance of cutting a king is 4 over 52. The chance of cutting a club is 13 over 52. But remember, they're not mutually exclusive events. Included in those two amounts is the possibility of a king and a club. So we'll need to subtract the chance of cutting the king of clubs, that is to say we'll need to minus 1 over 52. How do we add and subtract these fractions? Well, it's simple in this case because we've got the same denominator. So we can simply add and subtract the numerators. 4 plus 13 minus 1 gives 16 over 52. We can cancel that down and have the equivalent fraction by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 4. That gives 4 over 13, or if we wish to express it as a decimal, 4 divided by 13 gives us 0 0.308, the chance of cutting either a king or a club. So estimating the probability of future events requires an understanding of fractions and or decimals, and often the ability to manipulate them by adding, subtracting or multiplying them together. Next, we shall look at their use in making investment decisions.